In this video, I'm going to teach you how to download the Aether in 2012 or after the 1.1 update. First, you're going to want to go to this website right here. All these links are going to be in the description. Modsforminecraft.com slash archives slash 98. And you're going to see all the downloads here at the bottom. Aether mod, mod loader, audio mod, and those other But first, download the Aether mod because that one's going to take the longest, and we can do other stuff while it's downloaded. And now go to this link right here, the AdFly link that's in the description, and download the MC Downgrader. Once you download the MC Downgrader, it's going to look like this. And you're going to go to Options and click on Jar Downloader. It's going to pop up behind this window, so move this window out of the way. Right there. Now you find the Minecraft version that you want to download, and you're going to need 1.0.0, and then you're going to click Add Download. There's all these other versions here, if you'd like to try those out, but for the Aether, you're going to need 1.0.0. Once that's done, you're going to click on the start button and run uh, percent app data percent and go to roaming then you're going to go to the dot minecraft and bin and your final is going to be right there the 1.0.0 you're going to rename that to minecraft first if you have a minecraft folder in this uh, I mean minecraft that jar in this folder you're going to delete that first now rename this to minecraft Okay, now to download Mod Loader. All the downloads are on this one page, so that's all you really need. It's pretty convenient. You're going to drag and drop all these into the Minecraft.jar. You're going to need uh, WinRAR for this or 7-zip. You're going to delete the meta-in folder if you haven't already. Once that's done, you're going to drag and drop all the files within the mod loader zip and drag them into the minecraft.jar. And we're going to get audio mod. Drag and drop all this, the folder and the, uh, the two folders in the class file. Drag it into the minecraft.jar. OK. Now the uh, SAPI mod. You're going to click on bin and grab all of these files. You don't have to worry about the SRC folder that was there before, just the bin. And drag it into the minecraft.jar. And then the player API folder, I mean download, you're going to drag and drop everything that's in between the two texts. So don't, don't copy the text documents, just the class files in between. And drag them into the minecraft.jar. Now all we need is the Aether mod, which should have completed the download by now. I don't see it down here, so I'm going to go to the, my downloads. <clears throat> there it is. Open up the Aether folder. Open up jar and drag and drop every single file and folder in here into the minecraft.jar. And that's going to take a little while, so you have to wait till that's finished. deal with it. Okay, and once that's done, you're going to go back and go to resources. Then you're going to open up your .minecraft folder and go to your resources there. 
and drag and drop the mod folder that's in resources into your resources folder and click yes to everything. Move and replace if you get that option. I'm pretty sure you won't. After that, just close up everything. You should be done now. Now you're going to want to open up your Minecraft. Or you could also use the um, MC, MC downgrader to play Minecraft, but I don't recommend it. So you're going to open up your Minecraft launcher. Log in. Title screen. And it should be all set. You got this cool background. Displays your Aether world. As you can see, my little portal back there. Here we are, me with my candy cane sword and my lag. There's the Aether portal. You make it out of glowstone and water. You just drop a bucket of water in there. <clears throat> and then you just stand in there to teleport, just like the nether portal. And here we are, the Aether. Enjoy your Aether.